On this uh, Mesotrol PC Fusion CNC 640T, what we are gonna do is to simulate a catastrophic failure. Let's say uh, if we have a power outage and we have a low battery on the CNC, we are gonna uh, have some issues of most probably we will get the alarm 26, the uh, illegal parameter. So the idea is to reinitialize from scratch the CNC. Let me show you that this, the machine is working. I'm gonna change to the, the turrets position. Uh, now we are in the position number one. I'm gonna go back to the Sorry, number two, I'm gonna go back to the number one. And uh, we have the gear number one. We have a program selected. Let's check, um, or let's enter a, a modification in setup. I'm gonna enter any value. And if I check uh, the offset windows, I should see then the value that I just uh, entered. So we have the program, we have, uh, if we edit the program, we'll see this is a spindle test program. So let me move the axis a little bit just to confirm that it, they are moving. So if I go to diagnosis, um, go through version, servo motor, I'm gonna see that either the X or Z have uh, any alarm, so that's okay. If I go to the next page, uh, two pages uh, more, I'm gonna see the history. This is the last, the first one is the last appearance that we have in X and in Z. And this is a, a common error after you reinitialize the CNC. The 7F. I'm gonna leave the description uh, in the description below the details for the manual. So, what else? Let's go to spindle, and we don't have either a, an alarm on the drive. This is the the code or error code that you are gonna see on the spindle drive, or in this case on the servo motor drive. Okay. So. First of all, as in any CNC, what you have to do is to make a backup and you have to have a routine, a backup routine. Let's say the operator can do the next backup every time he finish a, a setup. So let me go through hard disk, uh, select the directory. In this case, it's the machine's name. Uh, we are gonna save from the CNC to the hard drive. Make sure that you don't have a text format selected. With text format, you will be able to open the files with a um, text plain uh, editor, like Notepad or so on. So we are gonna unche uh, uncheck this. This is a parameter that you can enable on the machine to have this option. So first, let's try, let's get the programs and you have to select one by one and hit input. Okay, we have three, four, five, six, three, six, I'm missing one. Uh, which one? Okay, uh, six. Okay, that's it. Uh, uncheck program file and now go down uh, another modification we can do is to go through macro variable and uh, enter any value here like for example 999 just to confirm that the, at the time we restore the backup we are going to have the same values so let's go back to data input output and select hard disk, NC to the hard disk, 
and select all of the data that are here. And this is what the operator can do every time he finishes a, a setup uh, or a changeover. So let's hit a start. Okay, next backup is to save the PLC. So we have to go through diagnosis, version, ladder monitor, and here in tool, you will have from the CNC to the hard drive, you will have the CNC to the uh, EC MCA uh, format. I don't have any now. And then let's do the from the CNC to the hard drive and leave as a default and save it. It's gonna save the ladder plus the languages files and you have to hit enter on each of them. The PLC is being written on, uh, on the ROM unless you have a problem with the ROM memory you don't need to upload it later but uh, let's do the, the whole process uh, okay so we can do a ROM copy uh, first we have to exit from here uh, let's do a ROM copy from the RAM to the flash ROM Okay, and close, and we're gonna do the same with the languages, from the languages to the plus row. Okay, close, and finish here. So we have the first backup where we have uh, parameters, uh, tool offsets, tool data, etc. Um, and the second parameter, the second backup is the PLC ladder. So now we have to go to the uh, border and here hit the right the button on the mouse and open explore. And in Explore, we have to go to maintain a folder and run the main application. And here we have the maintenance option where we're gonna save the CNC data, model, serial number, and the options this is important to the backup. So let me show you first where the options are. Let me close and exit here and minimize the screen. And if I go through diagnosis, diagnosis version, option, these are the machine options. These all are also saved on the ROM, so unless you have a problem with the CNC, uh, not a meaning that meaning that you don't uh, have uh, issues with the RAM uh, or the battery, uh, these data are gonna be kept in the ROM. So, but uh, just to to let you know. Uh, the other important thing is that you have to make sure the time and the, the date and the time are correct. So let me check this. I have to double click here and uh, yes, the timing, the date and time are correct. So if you need it, you can modify it here. Let's cancel. So let's go back to the Explorer and run again the maintenance. 
And these are the two files that are gonna be saved on the on this step. This is the maintenance where the M MNT underscore BKUP is where the CNC serial number, model and options is gonna be saved. These are binary files. So this is the first step and the second step is all the content that we have on the uh, SRAM. Meaning the tool offsets, the part program, parameter, etc. So let me sort um, to see the files at the bottom. So if I run the maintain and if I move a little bit here up you are gonna see that this is gonna change if I go through maintenance and hit the right arrow key and it's gonna ask me to save it. Okay, so now I have two files that has been updated now. So the next one and the last one is gonna be to say from the SRAM to the file SRAM BKF dot dot there you go and you have the file now as updated and also you can save it to the flash ROM as well. Okay, that's all. So now, options, okay. I'm gonna exit, you have options to copy and paste from and to the IC card, which is this port that we have here. PC, MCA, format. And you can have a, an adapter to compact class, for example. So this is the last backup that we need to do. And close here. And now I'm gonna remove the CNC battery from here. And I have to uh, wait for a couple of uh, minutes until discharge the capacitor and lose everything. And then we are gonna do the initialization. So now I have removed the battery and I'm gonna also remove the CNC power supply. And these are, here are the capacitors that are gonna keep for a couple of minutes if I don't remove it. So this is just to expedite. So by the way, and on this machine we have replaced the hard drive uh, with a solid-state drive uh, with a format uh, IDE uh, 44 pins so I'm gonna leave the, the link to the video that shows how to do uh, an image of the original drive hard drive and cloning it to uh, solid-state drive okay so now I have, inserted, I have inserted the power supply, reconnect the battery, and all is good. So let's try what the CNC does if it has lost the, the parameter data, etc. Um, I'm gonna power cycle the CNC. Okay, so what I'm looking at is uh, we have a lot connection with the CNC because I don't see any lead LED on on the control panel, and this screen is probably gonna take a, a while to trying to connect to the CNC. Let's see what it does. 
if this screen never finished the the connection or meaning that uh, we cannot access to the CNC it's gonna stay uh, there uh, forever so don't get in panic we have ways to uh, connect back to the CNC by reinitializing the, the CNC there you go Okay, what we can see here is we don't have any data. We have asterisk. We don't have any menu. Okay. And we don't have any command on the control panel. And probably, in some cases, you might get the alarm, uh, 26 illegal parameters. But as you see here, we have the timestamp or the date and the time are correct. So meaning the HMI unit doesn't have any issues, only the TNC. So let's check these two. Open the CNC. Go underneath the, where the display is. Let me zoom in. You can see we have the display in number in, in nine. We have the rotary switch and we have uh, the right. Uh, we have the push button to reset the, the CNC. So first of all, we need to select the number seven here. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. is clockwise and reset. And you'll see there is a Y now instead of nine. That means that we reinitialize the CNC. Let me try to sum in. So you see, we have a NC system and NC reset right there on the LED display. Okay. So now we have to go back to zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and now. I had to use the reset button that we have on the power supply right here. That is going to reset the whole CNC, including the HMI portion. And let's see what it does. Remember, this is the same procedure if you have to change the CNC units. At least now, I have the alarm LED and also the home LED on. Okay. So, we have connection now with the CNC. So, this is the alarm that I was mentioning before. Let's check the menus, let's go through diagnosis and you'll see we have illegal parameters, we have uh, other alarms and an emergency stop. So if I check, let's see version, let's check first the options. You see we still have the options and let's check the servo monitor and we have the alarm 37 on X and 37 on Z. And we have, uh, let's check the spindle, as well the, the alarm 37, and this should be on the drive unit display. So we have those alarm. Let's check uh, setup info. We don't have any data. We have uh, check. Let's check offset info. We still have here. These are saved on the offset on the sorry. 
I guess this data is saved on the, on the hard drive. I have to confirm somewhere. Uh, let's check the program. We still have the program because it's on the on the memory. We haven't deleted that part. Um, what else? Uh, we said we modify a variable. We don't have any variable. And let's check the PLC program version ladder monitor we have the program so uh, to now we have this condition we can erase the data here we can erase all the data we have on on the CNC including the alarm history if we want to we can erase uh, two data two logs uh, work offset Etc. Cetera, et cetera. But we reinitialize the CNC and it's, that is enough. So now what we have to do is to go back to uh, the Explorer and open maintain, run maintain. And if you miss uh, any option, any CNC option, you have to restore this backup. We are going to do it. It doesn't hurt to do it twice, but if you don't need it, it doesn't matter. Let's do it. And now, if I go through backup and restore the SRAM from the hard drive, or solid state drive. Okay. Now the data has been restored. Let's exit from here. Let's close this. Let's go to setup info and you see we have the data that we have previously modified. And let's check the uh, macro variable. So we have this data. So we have everything back to normal, but it still have the alarms. So we need, what we need to do is to power cycle the whole machine on the, the CNC. I had to turn off here, turn off the main circuit breaker, and back on, and let me do that. So you see, it says Chuck Knox selected. So let's check the diagnosis. And this is the only alarm that we have now. Let's open the um, CNC signal screen. So we have to select machine. And from here we have to go to chat, select external and press the pedal system that is right here. Okay. Let me check. Let me press it. Now the alarm is gone and we have to wait for the signal here to be processed on the PLC. Oh, I guess it's because we are in the emergency mode, so we cannot see the signal here. But let me close this window and check uh, and select machine and go through version servo monitor okay we still have 7f alarm 
and we still have let me see, the spindle okay this means that we have to power cycle again the machine because uh, to get connection with the uh, drives so let me turn off here i'm gonna turn off and on the main CPU bracket Turn the control panel on. So now I recognize that we don't have any alarms here. We have the hole. I guess uh, we are ready to run or test the machine. Okay, perfect. You see? Now we have to send the machine home, but because the machine is in that position, we may face a problem with the soft limits. Let's try. The home are far away from this point, and but now the CNC thinks that that is the zero position and should be on the. Let me show you. The home position is right back on the, on the top. Uh, top. But in this condition, it's gonna trigger a um, limit alarm. You see? So what I had to do is to go through parameter, machine, here in a1 to 16 in control parameter I have to modify A9 which are the uh, negatives of uh, limits so uh, sorry the positive those positions are up in X and to the right in Z are the positive uh, sub limit so I had to increase and memorize these two values and I open, I'm gonna open the position from 7,075 to 99999 and 6,000 to 9999. So now I should be able to move the machine. Let me show you the position. Perfect. I'm gonna turn the light on. Okay, perfect. So let me move back to the axis to see if we can change the, the turret. And I'm gonna change to position number two. Okay. And if I select the switch, should be in reverse in color. If I go back to one, should move just back to the, the position that it was. Let me show you again. So I'm gonna change. The toggle switch right to the top, reverse. I'm going to change to the position number two and hit the, the two red button. And let's check. That's it. And now I'm going to go back to the number one. Switch the toggle down, go back to number one, hit the button here. Perfect. So now we have to test a program. Uh, we have a program selected. Let's, uh, let's run it from memory. And cycle start. 
Okay, we have to change the setup key. This one it was there. Now we have to turn off the setup key. Reset. So we have a spindle miss operation. Maybe now we have to confirm the charts. Yeah, we are missing the chuck condition. So let me check in machine, chuck. Okay, so I had to press the pedal. There you go. I'm gonna press again to have the external chuck. takes a while uh, there is a timer so there is a parameter that we can use to disable this function okay perfect so now we are ready to run unless we have any other alarm let's keep, uh, show go to memory okay so let's close this window cycle start okay that's all that you need to know if you need to recover or restart or re reinitialize a CNC or change a, a CNC on a Mesa Pro 640T CNC thank you